Hey Taurus, happy birthday to you. No, just kidding. The Abby Phoenix here. Welcome back to my channel. Hello to those of you who may be new. Let's just jump right into your reading. Um, I do really feel as if the energies um, of this reading are going to be carrying forward into June at the very minimum. So let's see what pops up for you. Ten of Swords. Knight of Swords. You guys got some heavy mental stuff going on right now. Jesus. Nine of Swords. The Hermit. The Knight of Cups. Okay, so and the Knight of Rods. I said, did I say Knight of Knight of Cups? I mean King of Cups, I'm sorry. Um Okay, so you guys are definitely all up in here with yours, um, which is not necessarily a great place for Taurus to be. <laughs> you guys are about doing, you guys are about, you know, the stuff that is going to produce results. When you are thinking, I feel like it could be danger, danger to everyone in your life. Just keeping it real, okay? Um, but ultimately, this has something to do with your emotional state. Um, I think that uh, there must be some type of battle here between uh, between what you're thinking and what you're feeling. And then ultimately, your guides and universe want you to get to this place where you can finally act, even if it's small. You know, again, even if it's a knight versus a queen or a king, um, or a page even, uh, they want you to start small because it's not like you don't know what to do. It's not like that you, uh, this is new for you, a new type of relationship possibly. You know, like maybe this is something that you've just never had to, you've never had the opportunity to experience before. Um, and so it's calling for you to behave differently. It's calling for you to act differently, but it's really, it's, I think you're thinking about it a little bit too heavily, Taurus. So with this Ten of Swords um, and with you all, because you you keep a track record of everything, right? Like there isn't anything that, um, I was wondering what that was, it's my tag. Um, there isn't anything that you necessarily forget. <laughs> and that's putting it a little bit lightly, right? Um, so I think as you are turning the pages of your past, as you're looking into your previous relationships, and more than likely you're looking at how the other person acted versus yourself. Did you hear me? Or do I need to say it louder for those of you in the back? Um, but you're looking at the other person when I really think that you should be looking at yourself. Like why did you perhaps have very similar circumstances when it came to your relationships. And in all honestly, all honestly, all honesty, the ending result of it failing is what you are thinking about, looking at, considering. And so um, as you are, you know, taking these doors out of your back, you know, I, I would not be surprised if some of you think like I've, I've been betrayed um, I've been, um, you know, the product of somebody's dishonest, honesty, um, all of those types of things. As you're thinking about that, you know, I think that the universe is trying to get you again to really consider how you played a role in the result of your relationships, because I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe you have somebody that you really, really like, um, or maybe you have somebody that you're trying to call in, you know, like you're, you're trying to prepare yourself for your next relationship. Um, and that always means going through at least the ones who are truly about doing the work, truly about making the next relationship better than the last, you know, like you have to do some homework, you have to do some reevaluating. 
And so in particular, in particular for you, I feel that that is the ultimate goal in the next few few weeks here. Um, and it's, I mean, it's not going to happen that quickly, but I think there's going to be some type of epiphany moment where you are really going to realize, like, it's not even about the other person. You don't know why that person acts the way that they did. You don't know their their real motives. You don't know why it didn't work from their perspective. The only person you have control over is yourself. And so that is where you need to start. That is where you need to start asking the questions like, what is it that I ultimately want? What do I need to do better? You know, um, what what goal do I want to have? Do I just want it to be a dating type of relationship? Do I want this to potentially move into marriage? Do I want to have a family with this person? Like asking yourself those type of questions so you know how you need to improve to show up. Um, and so I think that's where the Knights of Swords is coming in is like, you got to go back to the basics. You have to go back to your foundation, understanding what it is that you learned, um, what it is that you have, you know, continued to teach yourself. And then ultimately what you may need to to change because it's not working for your ultimate goal. The Nine of Swords, um, I think going through these emotions is heavy for you, Taurus. I don't think that, you know, you like looking into the mirror and seeing exactly how you were the common denominator in all of these circumstances and and you know pointing the finger back at yourself to say you know like i i did this you know like this this was a product of me doing x y and z and i think that hurts to to a certain degree um but I want you to understand, too, like if you knew then what you knew now, it'd be a different story. Right. So this is just one little piece in the grand scheme of things. You know, like we we all are not perfect. I know that you like to think that you are Taurus, And oh, I love to give you that type of energy. But in this type of situation, I think you just really need to be serious with yourself. I think that you really need to um be honest and you know stop trying to place the blame on anybody else and so that does mean that you're going to be going into this hermit mode you know like when you're dealing with feelings and emotions and responsibility um i think it takes you out of your normal day-to-day -day groove and ultimately i think that that is nice for you because sometimes you all will fake the funk like everything is copacetic and it's not it isn't and um, one of the things I absolutely love about, um, you know, when you are really in your spiritual zone is you understand that it's not always about, let me talk positivity and, you know, out into the universe because that's just what I want to return back. To. It's not any of that. You know, it's really being real. It's it's tapping into your your emotions and being like why do i feel the way that i feel right now and you're dealing with it as you're starting as you start to reveal the answers to those to that question you start to to change certain things um and so i think that this hermit mode is going to be really good for you um taurus don't fight it because if you can't show up for yourself you definitely can't show up for anybody else. And so this King of Cups, I really do think that it's it's your emotional state. Um, once you go through this phase, I think that you're going to come out on top. I think that you're going to be able to feel um, a lot lighter to breathe, you know, this, this, fresh air out into your life and then you'll be able to act accordingly and i mean it's your birthday season you know so if you have to you know sit there and take some time off why not <laughs> you know why not so let's get your message for may june 2021 
I just, okay, I'm hearing like, at the end of the day, based off of how you have acted in your life thus far, Taurus, who's going to be standing beside you on your most important days? Who's going to be celebrating you? Like those type of questions, I think, are really cutting you inside because it's just like, well, dang, like <laughs> you're you're just you're really looking into who who is still in your corner, um, based off of how you how you've acted. So we have rainbow blessings, blessings are showering your life. And then we have taking shelter. The answers are within. Um, bottom of the deck energy, fellow travelers, support is all around you. Um, so yeah, I think that as you're going through all of this, you're really considering like who, who's, who are my people? Um, and if your people still aren't the people that are coming to mind because of something that you've done, I, I really, I really hope that you take ownership of that and, you know, dig deep and apologize, you know, like take, take some action. Like there is going to be work for you to do, um, to be able to get back to the stage. Like I said, it's not going to happen overnight, but, um, and your hermit stage, don't get stuck there. Please, please, please don't get stuck there because you don't want to take ownership and accountability of yourself, Taurus. Um, the timing of this is going to be what you make it. I, I hope that helps uh, answer some of the you know questions you may have been having as of late. Um, please join the Fire family uh, as well as myself over on Facebook, you, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want more direct information into your um, situation, feel free to book a reading with me. All of the information is down in the description box below. I'm sending you so much love. Again, happy birthday. Mwah. Be blessed.